All right, guys, welcome back to Seed Story Cup number four here live from Krefeld, Germany. We're on day three, and we're still in the round of 16, and uh, Group I, or Group A, Deciders match, rather, is right in front of us. But before that, since we have some time to kill, we have another fun game set up for us, and we're going to call this the Egg Race, and it is going to be Ekop and Toida in one team, and Alesh and Noxious in one team. So as you can see, they're both sitting on long boards, and they have a spoon in their hands. So on these spoons, there will be two eggs, or an egg each, rather. And Alesh is going to push Noxious, or Toyota's going to push Ekop, to the finish line over there, where we see our showgirls standing. And once they've made it to that line, they have to come back. Now, they can't move from this board at all. They have to be pushed or pulled at all times. Now, if the egg drops in between and gets popped, the person who's pushing has to run back to this table right here and get one of the eggs and run back and continue. So obviously the person who makes it back here to this line right here wins. Oh, that's no, fine. You can start right there. So are you ready, guys? ready. All right. Put the eggs on the spoons. Okay. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, wow. Noxious and Alesh are a lot faster right now. Uh, they're very close to the wall, though. I got my are gonna have to pick. Watch up. The first egg is down. I got taking the lead with Toyota. They're really close to the couch, though. Have to watch out. Is the egg popped? <laughs> it's down. To, has to get an intact wood. <laughs> Alesha Noxious ahead again. They're close to the show grill. Egg still intact. It can always drop at any time. And now they're going to go backwards to make it back to the finish line. Some nice underwear for Alesha right there. Uh, and the egg is very close to going down. Noxious using some PG rated words right there. Oh wow, but Toyota and Ekop are fast. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be super close. He's gonna make it. And Alesha Noxious win. <laughs> nice. I guess it's time for a winner's interview. Hey you guys. That was intense, man. That was like top-notch uh, synergy right there. I feel like, dude, you're um, you're a demon. Like that that comeback. Yeah, this comeback was insane. I thought you were fucking uh, couch there, over man. Oh, fucking coach. Yeah, but by, by like a split second. Oh, baby. I mean, Literally like this much. It wasn't. It wasn't even. Like it was pretty close. It was pretty close. Yeah. Winners take all the rest of the eggs, right? Yeah, you get the rest of the eggs. I'll give you one more if you want. Like so, you're not hungry. No. I don't care. I can share. I can share. So what was the strategy there? You took the lead early, but then you uh, almost lost it again. What was up right there? Right. Um, what happened is, like, there was a little bit of um, a tilt to the right, right? Like, it was very difficult to manage. And then we ran into the wall, and the, the, the wheel started scraping against the wall, and we had to literally back up in order to, like, reposition and then move forward, right? So it was very intense. And I feel like, um, as, you know, champions of the first egg race, I think this is the first of Sea Story Cup, um, we set the bar pretty high, but we can do better. You can do better? Do you think this would have been easier with, like, normal skateboards? I mean, normal skateboards probably not, because... Actually, maybe, yeah, because they're not turning that much, right? So skateboards are just going straight, so probably. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, we like challenge with Noxious. Yeah, right. We don't care. <laughs> okay, so Ekop, are you going to win next time? Or are you going to participate in the next one? I mean, mark my words, guys. For my name is Ekop. I will have my revenge. So Ekop and Toyota are going to take the next one, apparently. At least they want to. Noxious and Alesh are the winners for now, though. But we are going to jump into the deciders match of Group A. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Nimsh, Tyson, Eloise, I believe. Take it away. Oh, man. That was so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> Egu Cop. Yeah. Egu Yeah, he is ready for his revenge next time. And that is what I like about this event, Seed Story Cup. We're having a really cool tournament running here, but also really enjoying our time here. Yeah. At least I am. Yeah, wow, I'm, I'm enjoying it as, as well. Eloise, are you enjoying mm -hmm. yourself? Yes, I tried a lot of kind of alcohol. Oh, you tried to have a lot of alcohol? Mm. 
You, you're you're pretty stiff, like sitting yeah. right now. Can like you should you should relax. Oh man. Yeah. yeah abs- no absolutely. worries. Yeah. Yeah. Just Perfect. chill. Feels good, man. <laughs> it feels good. Uh, but uh, there is a one match in front of us, which mm-hmm. is actually really competitive. Yes, it's the desire match now between Ignite and Froden. We saw Ignite here uh, just winning 3-2 against Oskaka, and now Froden te- from uh, Tempo Storm has to take it. it yes, best. Best we tr- Tempo t- Storm player. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, is Frodan the best Tempo Storm player? I think this performance is one of the best mm-hmm. this year for Tempo Storm. Yes, I feel like, oh, my mom finally know how to play Hearthstone now. I'm so proud yeah. of her. Did, did, you lear- did you learn him a bit of Hearthstone? Oh, uh, I help him training. I teach him a lot. Okay, yes. that's good. It seems yes. that it works. Mm. Yeah, the coaching that mm-hmm. Eloise does is pretty good for yeah. Frodan. Mm. He, he, he kind of like, it's, it's so funny because... He wasn't even supposed to play in this tournament. <laughs> but then he like just enrolled. Yeah. And uh, instead of bringing funny decks, he brought solid lineup. And yeah. suddenly, he is uh, one mm-hmm. match uh, from the top eight. Yeah. I really... Uh, I, and I think Froden also plays really well here. Yeah. You, so, um, yeah, I think he has a pretty good shot also against Ignite. They played alre- already against each other before as, as the first match of the group. And Froden too get there. So it's going to be a close match for sure. And... We see here Hunter into the freeze mage as the starting matchup. <laughs> All right, so uh, Eloise, can you tell us what's the strategy mm-hmm. for Frodan? Because I know you guys talked a lot before. Mm-hmm. Uh, he kind of thinking that Ignite is burning control warrior. He was thinking that he bring Patron last time, so he banned his warrior. But uh, we discuss about it, so he now thinks that Ignite probably thinking about bringing control warrior. So he think about uh, bringing a hunter or paladin to start up. Mm-hmm. So what, okay. is, what is he banning then? Uh, so if he's not banning warrior, he ban he's banning paladin, right? Um, yes. Yeah, I think it's a good ban from Froden <laughs> to ban the, the Froden of the Paladin from Froden. And we see actually a pretty nice starting end also from Froden with the low tap, always a really strong card against Free Switch. And we were expecting Ignite to to have Dread as opening because mm. uh, he might not use Free Switch as opening because he might use Free Switch to counter Froden's Paladin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually a good thing. It's always uh, hard to predict what others are going to pick and yeah, well, with the warrior uh, still in, like again, Ignite didn't ban the warrior from uh, Froden, and even so, if Ignite maybe ma- manages to win this game, he has a really hard shot into the control warrior from Froden. So maybe he just hopes to sneak in a win fr- with the freeze mage to, yeah, get on board with the win. Yeah, but even if he wins with the freeze mage, as you said, like warrior will be uh, stopping the freeze mage, and how mm-hmm. th- how will the whole matchup uh, fan out? Like, so warrior kills freeze mage. Yes, when the first mage are killed, then Frodan will be in a very good position. Even if Ignite uh, is using Patron, Frodan is not afraid of him. Okay, so and there we see also the new card for God and Torch. Not forgotten anymore, there he is. And this is the good thing why this card can sometimes be better than the Frostball, where you play it on turn 3, you use it as a removal and you get a 3 mana Fireball in your deck. Yeah, it's. Uh, do, you, do you like the Torch overall? Do you think like Freeze Mage mm. will change and Torch will be something mm. you, you will always play in the deck now? I don't know if it's uh, if you are always going to play it, but it gives you so much reach in these new mid-range matchups. Um, I don't know if you really want to play two because it can really hurt you in the early game and you have to maybe cut Kadra for it. But uh, no, it's a card with a lot of potential and uh, I play already with it uh, to try it out. I well, think one is okay because one, uh, one Torch can fix the problem of... Uh, first match haven't mm-hmm. got it always haven't got enough damage. Okay, and what about the new explorer Reno, mm. the the guy who is healing? Yeah, mm. I actually love it too. I'm not sure if that card is good enough for free mage because you have to try to play one-offs. But I mean, if you couldn't loot already and you play a Novik engineer, like if you make these small decisions to make the Reno at least pretty good, it can work insanely well and. In this matchup, it might do a lot. Hunter doesn't like it when an, your opponent goes back to 30 lives. Yeah, exactly. When you get <laughs> him like really low. There is a guy in China. He used uh, uh, Reno Paladin to come to rank 5 Legend. Oh, wow. And it's actually a control Paladin. It looks like control warrior, but it's mm-hmm. actually Paladin. And it's uh, one copy of card. Uh, that kind of paladin. But it, in paladin, it hurts. It feels that it hurts you so hard. Like you're gonna cut 
Mus are you gonna cut, cut maybe a muster? You play only with one mini bot, and I feel they are so good. Maybe you can game. play. Maybe you can play double master because you play it early. Mm -hmm. But then you play maybe one consecration, one true silver, mm -hmm. one lotheb, one belcher. Mm -hmm. One mysterious challenger, I don't know, like one of any mm -hmm. of every secret. It's it's possible, I guess. Yeah. And Rena works very good with Mage because Mage has duplicate. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a hunter complaint today about killing the third Rena in a in a uh, match versus Mage, and it's very crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's funny how they made the explorer really annoying for people who face him. In World of Warcraft, when you have the explorers, they always like get get you in, in, into traps. Have you guys played play World of Warcraft? Like Eloise, you played, right? Yeah, I play very competitive. <laughs> Have you faced Bran Bronzebeard? Did, did you die because of Bran Bronzebeard before in World of Warcraft? Okay. Well, this is actually super annoying for Froden, where there is a Doomsayer without any freeze effect on the board, but there is no way for Froden to deal with it. So he has to make a decision to either uh, like ignoring it, or in you c are you really going to throw yeah. your high main on the board here? This is a very obvious Emperor turn. Next turn will be an Emperor here. Froden need to think about how to deal with the Emperor. Mm -hmm. Is there any merit to playing Freezing Trap here? Well, I think you want the Freezing Trap out of your deck, so you're not going to draw the other one, or... Oh. Did he already have the secret up? I think he had, right? Yeah, yeah. So but he's just playing with two traps, but both differently. Yeah. It's not wise to play Freezing against a, a Freeze Mage, right? Well, I think maybe you just throw it out on curve. It doesn't do much. Uh, mm. You you probably mm -hmm. will wreck by the mm -hmm. healing uh, bot. Yeah, heal bot. It's, yes. It's but you true. can always kill the heal bot as a hunter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on seven mana heal bot is still super slow if you at least have something on board. But I think this emperor, uh, you cannot leave an emperor upright. I mean, it's Not hurting you so much. The, your opponent is still at 26 life, so you cannot really pressure much. I think you. Just have to roll the companion here, maybe to get like the 66% where you at least uh, yeah. kill the emperor off. But don't you don't you lose too much? Like if you get uh, Le what, what, if you get Leo, you can kill it. But if you get a Misha, you actually just have a a, a, mm -hmm. a four four that doesn't do much. Trust yeah. yourself. Say half for three times. Half for half for half. It's like a curse or yeah. a blessing. So yeah, of course. Well, let's see. All right, Froden. Can he oh. trust the Huffer? Oh. He's gonna ignore it. He's not going for the risks. He's gonna go for face here. Freeze effect gets really strong now. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Froden is already in a very bad position now. Yeah, especially with the second nice mm -hmm. barrier there. It good doesn't really the matter if you kill them. The good thing for uh, Froden is, is that Ignite doesn't have any card draw in the hand. And the only thing Ignite is going to get value of is all his removal is going to get maybe almost costless. But it's um, nice. Yeah. He's probably going like Ignite has to assume this is a freezing trap. So um, I don't think you can make a risky attack with the Emperor to push for damage. So if you don't attack, if you want to have Emperor on board, and uh, get your spells hit. Do you just blizzard? Now you can also think of playing the heal pot here to proc the freezing. Maybe next turn. I mean, it makes uh, this is makes a, a lot of trip. sense. And um, yeah, you get uh, your blizzard is almost a first nova now with doing mm -hmm. two damage. Yeah, pretty good. Against hunter, you don't need too much damage. Just survive, survive, and he cannot kill you. As long uh, as soon as you play Alex. The game is over. Oh, oh there's the Huffer. Wow, there's the Huffer. Huffer was you there hiding. You him really well. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the question is, do you Lothab as well? Like, the, the secret is not freezing I, trap. We know I that. don't know what the, if, if Lothab is really going to help you much anymore this uh, game. I think he so has I, to bet on this now. Spells are almost the same now with the Emperor yeah, <laughs> already right. being... Uh, Played on for two turns. Well, there will be no flame yeah, strike, right. right? And Blizzard will be for nine. Yeah, so it's true. You can play around the Blizzard here still. Might, might be the last time you can actually play Lotha with any effect. <laughs> yeah. And I think he probably will kill the Hellbox. What's the secret, though? No, Hopper oh, has to go Huffer. face. Oh, it's, it's not Freezing Huffer, Trap, so. Explosive? Is that? Um, oh, yeah, he's running with is. one Freezing. 
Oh, the other one. So another is another um, another card for uh, Ignite without any card draw, so he can only play the Barry or Torch this turn. Actually, <laughs> super annoying for Ignite. Uh, ha so happy with this Emperor, but not getting much value from it. And now he tested the trap and sees it is not an explosive trap or a freezing. And not an, uh, there is no beer coming out. So it's a, it's a snake. Can throw that and trigger the it ice block be. next turn. It might be a snipe. Or is that already not no, possible it's anymore? Like <laughs> it's always... Huh? It says one mana, but uh, I think Froden really played it for six mana. Yeah, maybe they did. Or uh, Ignite. Well, get some damage in. Wow, this hand. Zero mana barriers. Mm. Zero mana barriers is pretty good versus Hunter. Mm -hmm. Still not enough damage. Yeah, not that he doesn't have the burst, like, but he has time. With double blizzard, with ice barrier. He can still survive, and he has damage on board. If Frodan can trigger the ice block this turn, he still mm -hmm. have chance. Can he even? Like, there is 7, 8, no, 13, no, 15, no. 17. Yeah, no way. Far from mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so for Frodan, the question is, do you even trade with the minions? Like, you know you don't have the freezing trap right now on board. I don't know what you are afraid of. I, th I think the abuse of Surgeon is a really good uh, way to at least get a really valuable trade into the Healbot with one of he your 1-1s. I think he can kill the Healbot and play a Freezing. Mm -hmm. yeah, deny some face damage from the yeah. from Taurus Sun. Yes. At this point, the Taurus Sun, it already had so much discount, you probably don't care anymore, but still mm -hmm. taking uh, care that you can't you oh. get much damage less. Wow, Froden is considering the trades. Froden! Oh. Oh, he might... He might be thinking uh, there was no draw from Ignite, and mm -hmm. in this he just takes the board for a moment. Mm -hmm. He still has the big high main. Yes. So over time, his hero power mm -hmm. might overpower the mage. He can really expect a lot of free, uh, a, le a lot of spells at least in hand because the, uh, the turn from Ignite was so weak last turn. I would also say that there has to be a lot of spells. So a good read from uh, Froden there. He probably wants to protect the high man to by killing the emperor. Hanna is really strong against Freezemate. Maybe he is, he, he really like likes cats, and he wants the cat to stay on board. Uh, is is Frodon a cat person, at least? Uh, makes sense, kind of. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 okay, oh, okay. Do, do, uh, focus on the game, yes. We don't so, have to focus uh, that much. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, so... The Blizzard here, 3 mana. That's a Frost Nova for 2 damage. On everything. Pretty good. He probably will freeze mm -hmm. the high man ping. Yeah, ping looks actually super good here now. And next turn... He can even nice double Blizzard, just using a, bli a, fl a Flame Strike for 2 cards. It's, it's quite sad that he can't yeah. Alex Straza and Blizzard on the same yeah. turn, mm -hmm. but that would be too powerful. So yeah, now the Ice Barrier is extra damage, and the question, do you, do you attack? Well, you can deal... You actually can heal him for free, but then like next turn you'll have more damage anyway. Froden is thinking of not attacking at all. That's interesting. No, this is not wise. I think he's got only mm -hmm. one quick shot or something. Yeah, you probably have to attack because you feel like... You might have the Hyenas from the high main. Yeah, the problem is um, with attacking... I think it's I think it's so valuable. Like, of course, you're scared of AOE, but you only see three cards and missing five damage. Um, like, eventually, you will have to attack like anyway. The the play from Ignite was pretty obvious here. By by pinging the high main, you really expect next turn. You expect the ping into Blizzard or ping into Flame Strike or at least some kind of AOE. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a top deck war here where at the end, Freeze Mage should have a better edge. But if Frona can pick up on high main or on boom, but really help. I don't think he's got Dr. Boom. Well, I think this probably be Frodan's last um, game, so I don't mind to, to talk about his back. <laughs> Why is it this last game? Oh. He's gonna win it. Okay. Have to have fame, fellow. Yeah. Oh, Best yes. player, Frodan. He can do it. He's actually Frodank. Yeah, Frodank. Mm. And uh, we've been talking about it, like, this matchup is good for Freeze Mage, but then, like, uh, Frodo has the Contra Warrior mm -hmm. to counter the Freeze Mage. I actually really like Frodo keeping this Freezing Trap in the hand. Like, it's not because uh, for the mana-wise, but 
just um, let, making the turns for Ignite way harder where he has to play around uh, kill commands or extra burst and um, yeah, I, I actually really like that. It's a good mind game, yes. Well, the problem is that there's not much stuff to freeze. Like everything mm -hmm. from, from the freeze match, you have to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Alex Draza, really good freeze. It's going to cost 11 mana, and uh, Emperor uh, being gone, you're never going to see it again. Yeah, that's true. So you buy yourself he a, another he can turn. can play it next turn anyways. Hmm. So, yeah, now they have to make the decision. The Hunter is already at a life total where Alex, uh, your opponent, not matter, doesn't matter that much as normally, where you put them like 10 or 15 lives lower, and uh, he's thinking, how is it going to be in a long game? Am I better in? Am I in a better spot if I can just Alex myself? Well, if he has a, he knows this is not a freeze ma uh, mm -hmm. freezing trap. He knows there is the one card in hand. So if he Alexes himself, uh, he might face that freeze trap, which will seal Alex Straza. There's oh wow, choices. that's an really killing tricky. killing the knife juggler, uh, Alex. Oh wow, and hunter. if there comes out an hover or something now, it's just gonna proc the block. Oh yeah. Yeah. So true. Eloise, I think you have to cheer again for yeah. the hover. Hover, 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 hover. <laughs> oh, oh, look at Frodo. Oh, he is ready. Oh, no! oh, it is hover. Pops the block. Oh, oh the hovers. Ignite is really like not uh, like this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's a huge moment for in Frodan's career as a mm -hmm. pro gamer. Yeah. I'm so proud of my mom. Yeah. <laughs> well, time now, for Ignite to recover, I think. And now Frodan has this size, uh, this freezing trap to, to counter Alex Straza. Yeah, that's actually really, really strong. Now you don't have to face. Oh, 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 picking up a quick shot. Nice. Wow. Quick shot face. Yeah, I guess so. There we go. Shredder is nice. Perfect on curve. Face. Yeah. That's, face. My, yes. that's my juggler. Oh, wow. And so, so out of the sudden, this matchup gets super close here. The, the greedy ping from Ignite into the hopper from uh, Frodo and changed the uh, matchup completely. What do you think if he played Alex last turn? Um, uh, to Hunter's face. I wouldn't. Hunter's face. You could have healed yourself as well. Mm, yeah. You could have like pinged the uh, the face on Hunter and then Alex draws herself. I think that would be fine as well. Just put a 8 8 on board. Yeah, exactly. And test if there is the second secret being played or not. Okay, so we see here uh, in the hand, it is a 13 damage combo. Um, if he will pick up, and he played already his Forgotten Torch, if he will pick up the 3-mana Fireball here, it's a 19 damage combo. So if he can sneak in 2 pings, uh, he has actually pretty good odds of still uh, getting the burst combo in. Also an Iceland's pickup. Can he ping uh, this turn? Oh, he's going for face yeah. right now. Yeah, he haven't got enough mana to play all those damage. Mm -hmm. Well, the, it's, well, it's exactly in 10 mana combo where you can play the 3 mana fireball now. It's, ooh, and that's, Whoa! That's actually an. Uh, it is not enough yet, but it's a really it's good really pickup. It's really good. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, <laughs> and this, this freezing trap is actually doing a lot here. Uh, making sure to not get the 8 damage. So how much damage is there? There is uh, seven, eight damage. No matter what he draw, he cannot kill Frodo in this turn. Yeah. He has to play Ice Ball. Oh, Doomsayer, one of the worst draws here, probably. Yeah, Doomsayer will not do anything here. So and he just has to ping the face. Well, if he pings the face and it gets the Fireball, either in three mana or four mana Fireball, it doesn't matter, then he can... Uh, he just gets the win here. Yeah, I but don't know if he doesn't, he just loses. Yeah, because that's true. Because Frodo wins with the hero power. It's so insane that the match uh, went so close. Uh, from a moment where it looked pretty one-sided after the Emperor being on board for <laughs> two or three turns. Ignite has a very bad draw at starting hand. Yeah, the Took problem for back. Ignite was that he never had the Cardro card. She, I didn't saw any yeah. loot order, Echolite, Arcan Intellect. He really had to play it with his... And Frodo gets everything on time. Mm -hmm. Just right on the time. Oh, he used the, the previous... Mm. He used the Ice Lens before? Um, yeah, he used the Ice Lens on the Huffer. Does so he have Pyroblast in the deck? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. He hasn't got it. So yeah, this draw, um, yeah, not this doing much. You can even think of killing your own Shredder off and get a, get a healing, uh, getting the healing totem <laughs> out of it. <laughs> to, and then <laughs> That makes sense. That yeah. Makes I mean, what is the Shredder going to do? He's, yeah. going, he's going for it, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> give me the healing? Yeah, well. There came already an offer, I mean, why not? 
That's not a well, heal. But it gets no, it gives health to himself. Ah, that's so Okay, so guys. Badass. One last draw is gonna decide this yeah. game. Three mana fireballs, oh, four mana Ignite fireballs. Is like, what does Ignite not have? Not like here? this? Not like this. <laughs> oh, oh, and this oh. is Nova and Wow, Froden. Froden takes the, the win this year. That was yeah. a pretty good game. This is a very huge win for Frodo because yeah. now he's in a very good position. For Ignite, the win was um, maybe not as important because Frodo will outpick him anyways, but now Frodo still is the hunter and Hunter is really in deck that can sneak in uh, sneak in a lot of wins. So it, it's yeah. gonna get hard. Like this game, like it, it was, mm -hmm. uh, the advantage was on Ignite's side and Frodo was able to steal the mm -hmm. game. And the Freezing Trap was so funny because like we were like, yeah, Freezing Trap is useless in this mm -hmm. matchup, he'll never play it. And then in the end, it actually locked yeah. Alexstrasza. Yeah, it's super, super impressive that he's still took it there and... Uh, Fredon was thinking like 60 yeah. turns ahead. Mm -hmm. So Ignite getting uh, going with the Druid into the Hunter. It's a match your people are not really knowing like what is favorite. It's a really close, especially with the Darnassus now. It makes the matchup. It was always a bit favorite for Hunter, but the Darnassus really makes it now kind of even. It's kind of weird he didn't use Warrior because mm -hmm. according to our plan is that uh, his Hunter killed something at the first game and Ignite used Warrior to counter and Frodan will use Druid to counter, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, we haven't seen uh, Ignite's Warrior before because yeah. it was always banned. So maybe he's playing Face Warrior. Face Warrior? Oh. <laughs> Mech Warrior. Mech Warrior. That, that was a oh. thing. With the that clanker. Thing, yeah. Next nah, level meta game. I think with the Freeze Mage, I, I think uh, like I know he likes Control Warrior. It might be a Patron Warrior. Wouldn't be surprised. And uh, pretty de good starting end from both players here, getting that one drop and Darnassus and Scientist. Yeah, Ignite needs some more though. Uh, he has Darnassus and he has the Wrath, but he needs an Innervate maybe yeah. or like Shredder. Clave Zuka looks uh, pretty decent here. I mean, you want to kill this uh, yeah, Darnassus, absolutely. right? It's uh, if you give Druid already early ramp, it's. Uh, Really big, and now we uh, Ignite had a good reactive play with the ref, but he doesn't really have a proactive play where he can play his minion now. Looks like shapeshift, and um, you haven't got anything. Mm -hmm. to oh wow, so this awkward, awkward. Always, awkward always happy to see, right? It's so bad, like he doesn't have a turn three and turn four play. Is there anything worse than uh, than playing? And hero power as Druid at turn two. I don't know if there is a worse <laughs> feeling than there making is. a hero power. I, I, I will tell you what's worse. The worst thing mm. is playing hero power on turn three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. At two, I really have the feeling I want to. Yeah, but it's probably true. Okay, getting the double scientist. Sadly, he has the second trap already in hand. So this scientist is not much more than a two mana uh, two two. It's still fine though. Like it's some pressure, and Ignite doesn't have anything yet, and still no four draw. Oh wow, this is oh, wow. really awkward. He can't even, he used the wrath before. But so. he knows there is a snake trap, so you don't even you cannot really roar this uh Mad Scientist, or maybe you just have to this take the This is even odds. worse than Shake <laughs> yeah. But he has to do something this time. Well he has at least a five drop. <laughs> yeah, if you don't do do anything then <laughs> Is it even possible to not have any spell uh, or any uh, you it's so but, yeah. well, it's bad for now, but actually from the next turn. He's gonna mm -hmm. just start playing yeah. those big taunts, right? From next turn, he can. No. Every turn he's got some. The Smork do. has taken over uh, Rexar. Oh, yes, yeah, Smork is like <laughs> embellishing uh, Frodon. So, yeah, Frodon, unfortunately, not getting any secret here. Okay, picks up a Knife Juggler. Not a really good pickup, but at least something that you, is playable here. Interesting that the, he can play juggler and snake trap, mm -hmm. but yeah, he's running out of options. Like he really needs to pick up a high main or or something, something good on. I don't think he will play this trap now. He probably play this trap next turn. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for now. Make because ignite think that oh, I'm he's got freezing now. Okay, Druid of the Claw here, Horse Rider. It's playable here, and if the kill command is gonna hit on this um, Druid of the Claw, it can actually go to the face. I'm pretty sure that, like you can. Maybe you just play the minion first, see if the knife lands on the 4-6. Yeah. You can consider not using kill command here, but it's too valuable, right? Uh, kill command you, is very good. Yeah, it's really good here. And if this knife is going to hit... Uh, otherwise, you can do it with the weapon, you can do it with the creeper. Oh. If you want. 
Hey. I think what I can. You think about this? I like the weapon attack more. <laughs> I like the weapon attack. Too. Well, but this is more damage than uh, the creeper did yeah. two damage to the face. Yes. And I mean, Froden didn't add anything in the early turns, and I think he passed turn four. What called being swipe turn? So maybe Fro Froden predicts there is no swipe in the hand anymore. It, it, right? it does pay off actually because mm -hmm. there is no swipe for now. Force of Nature doing an okay job here by trading uh, a lot of damage from the board, but freezing trap. The freezing. Well, and uh, well now Ignite is suddenly really at a bad spot where he has to face uh, some top decks really. Uh, Haunted Gripper wasn't good, but uh, Fernand um. still has some damage here, and there is no heal for for Ignite. So eventually, ev eventually the hero power from Frodan will just uh, will just win the game. Well, there are still taunts that uh, Froden has to, has to pass. I like that attack. You can you can actually uh, get a Nigel Hornbow, and uh, this is yeah. the turn where you can see a big taunt coming. Okay, considering Doctor Boom here, but I think that's <laughs> really uh, <laughs> really. Uh, oh, Snake like coming! The, no, it's no attack snake. to the face. Oh, that was smart. That was smart. Yeah, well, he saw it last turn that there was a, that there were only two traps, and um, well, abusive kind of trades into the board here. Um, but which is very good. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, it's, uh, you leave something up, and it's another turn where you the druid has no option than only playing it defensively. Uh, he's got swipe right now. Yeah, swipe is uh, yeah, it looks decent here. If he plays swipe, he cannot do any other um. stuff. Yeah, swipe oh, into a Espe door. Especially with the snake also here. Uh, swipe is something you need. Lore, it's okay, but there, you still face six damage on the board, so you only prevent it for this turn. It doesn't turn. solve the issue, right? Yeah. Like, you're still dying. That's why swipe into the mm -hmm. floor would be much better. Ignite has to... Yeah. It's... Uh, well, oh, oh low Whoa. tap. Well, that makes the swipe a bit less uh, powerful. <laughs> you can still play it for nine mana if there is a draw. But um, you're fa you're staying at three lives here, and uh, then one damage is just finishing. Yeah. The game. Fred is so close to killing Ignite. Yeah. And that's not really helpful. So Inner rate like of five mana, and wow, Froden takes another win here with his hunter, and that's why. Um, yeah, people play Hunter. It, uh, it's really hard to counter. It can just uh, go in. If, if a Hunter covers out himself, it's so powerful and takes a 2-0 here. Pretty powerful. Really good. So, Alois, what do you have to say about Hunter play from Frodan? Oh, that's that's kind of like uh, Tempo Storm Arvidge. <laughs> Tempo Storm Arvidge. <laughs> Tempo Storm Arvidge. Yes. That's pretty high standard. Yeah. Hmm. How can he increase it? He has to hit the face more or uh, what's... Oh, just... Uh, remember to say hover three times. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, until now, it was only hover for him. Yes. So, uh, I think it's pretty decent and pretty good starting end here. I actually really like the keep high main. You have an early curve, so you make sure you curve out well. But the high main is such a powerful card against uh, Warrior. Especially if you have the coin. It's really good. Yeah. And it's then, what Warrior is this? With Brawl, it seems like it's a, sla it's a Control Warrior. Yeah, with Brawl, Big Game Hunter, also Gramash, it says that it has to be a Control Warrior, in my opinion. It's kind of weird he didn't play Warrior last game. Yeah, maybe he really wanted to save. Uh, maybe he didn't have good matchups with his Druid, and he thought, yeah, I have my best shot against this. And maybe yeah. he wanted to save his Warrior for something else, but didn't really pay off for him. A lot of people say that Druid is good versus Hunter, so he maybe is one of the people who thinks, like, yeah, Aspirant, <laughs> I can do it. Uh, Frodan still has a Paladin and a Druid left, which is yeah. really good. Really good versus Warrior. Yeah. But the match is not over. Ignite can maybe... Mm -hmm. Find a fire within his Sam himself. Oh, not a <laughs> really rough starting out again. Like Ignite really tries to pick up all the most expensive minions in his deck. I don't know if I said a good uh, thing against. I uh, think Ignite made a crit he made a critical mistake. <laughs> he didn't bring Hunter. Maybe <laughs> there is no Hydra. <laughs> yeah. I think in this kind of standard last mm -hmm. hero standing. Secret Paladin and Hunter are two of the cards that can like free all your opponent. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, Aggro Druid as well, possibly. Mm -hmm. Like Hunter is a deck that can o can go 3 but can also go 3 0 and here it's <laughs> and this is not Conquest anymore, so maybe this is just where Hunter is way better. So what are we cheering for here? Uh Huffer, always Huffer. Is it is it better here? Oh. Yeah. You didn't cheer. Yeah, oh it's the best. Yeah, you didn't cheer, you didn't want it now, right? <laughs> But yeah, Misha is better here, so yes. I agree with you, Eloise. I like it. <laughs> Temple Storm, Amish. Yeah. Always the best animal mm -hmm. companion. It's like he controls the animals. OK. 
Okay. So uh, ignite <laughs> facing the Misha here and or uh, yeah, it's uh, do you want to execute? Well, your curve is really obvious, right? You have the Belcher, you have a six drop, you have a seven drop. So execute is not going to be played uh, in the next turn. So. Maybe it's worth to execute it as a 4-1. I think it's fine. Uh, there are not that many targets you want to execute anyway. Mm -hmm. From Hunter's side. But for Frodan it's good news. So he okay. can play high min on 5, so this turn just met scientist mm -hmm. hero power. Yeah, I actually like it. I think coining on high main is super powerful against Warrior. And he has a good follow-up with double Argent's um, yeah. host rider. Okay, Belcher really stalling here the, the face damage from uh, Froden. Hmm, Bow is not a bad pickup at all. But um, yeah, high main turn 5 is uh, so the best. So strong indeed. Especially when Warrior haven't got armor. But on the other hand, this is the time where Ignite can actually start playing his minions, finally. And now. Oh, that shield slam pickup will be so good last turn where he went for the shield block and didn't. Uh, yeah. Had to execute it. There's a very obvious freezing coming from the scientist. Whoa! Nice. What did I say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good for him. Wow, so he can just kill the, the Belcher with the bow and uh, horse rider, go six to face. Yeah, yeah it's seven uh, to face, actually, even. I mean, Freezing Trap is just so good at there it. Are, yeah, Freezing Trap it has to be, in general, if you don't know what you're facing, of course. In some matchups, it's a bit less, but so consistent and so strong. Always right on. Like Ignite doesn't know what the secret is, so it like it is just random. It came from the scientist. It can also be the snake, and he just has to attack, right? Like uh, unless he brawls, he can also brawl. You can brawl, and um, but all the death rattles will trigger. It's really hard to say. I mean, there. If you brawl here, the board is only getting harder with <laughs> the hyenas, with the spiders going out. It's well, maybe you can take one of the hyenas. I feel you don't really improve here by brawling. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't think there's other good uh, play now. <laughs> I guess you have to end, yeah. yeah. With, the slam it is, uh, with the slam, it looks pretty good here, actually, yeah. All right, so brawl time. Maybe Sylvanas is going to survive. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope, not this time. So, yeah, um, brawl. Taking a 2-2 uh, Hyena away here. Pretty good. And we can see there's still a lot of smoke damage in combat. Yeah, yeah, Shredder is also pretty good. Shredder is also a really nice pickup here. All these Death Rattle annoying minions are really hard for the uh, Warrior to deal with. And, oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. Frodon is not playing around Mind Control Attack. Oh, wow. I won it either. <laughs> 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 yeah, there can be somebody that plays it, but uh, I mean, it's not a general <laughs> card where you play around, I think. Especially with the hunter. Rain, rain, rain or warrior will play it. Probably. Yeah, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Ignite is getting lower and lower, and he is yeah. uh, he's back to the wall. And big game hunter not really helping. Yeah, and uh, he's still facing this uh, secret. And with the eagle horn bow, it feels so risky to try to proc it and hope that uh, like it gives just the hunter three more damage. And so he can task master the two one. He can, can start with just a card two to start the tank up, but um, it's you're, it's you're facing too much damage here on the board. Yeah. Uh, and doesn't you cannot get give the charge of the ball. Mm -hmm. You cannot move your. Yeah, you have the armor up also with the shield slam that can kill the hyena off. So you can just play the you can play like all your three cheap cards, and uh, you only face an, uh, you only face the shredder and a one one after this turn. So it sounds reasonable. Facing Smorgdan. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Smorgdan. Frodan is like, this yeah. is not even my final form. <laughs> uh, really hard turn. You haven't really hard all turn. my damage yet. Okay, well, but now the race is really on because if Ignite managed to to get like board control next turn, it's uh, gonna be really hard. And how much damage is this? It's Nine 10, plus 30, five. 15, 17, 18. Is it 20? I think it's lethal. 9, 12, 14, so. 16, 18 damage. It yeah. is lethal. Wow. It so is lethal, Froden. Froden has it. You've got to smork it, and then the game is just over. Just trust in the smork. As he's probably, his heart is racing. He just yeah. needs to hit the face. Yeah. Do not misplay. Do not attack it. Play the abusive. Oh, yeah. Play the well big done. moment in Froden's life. Wow. And wow. Froden and is Froden. to the top eight.
Wow, 3 0 wow. with the Hunter. Froden just did it, and wow, look how happy he is. I can't believe it. He feels wow. so alive. He's advancing to tomorrow. Wow, Froden. Congrats, Froden. Join us here, man. Top Join us. Come here. Wow, top eight. That, that, was, that was top kick, Froden. Oh, man. That was so good. Uh, you so know good. what? That, that was only because. Uh, it's only because Orange 3 0 would me with Hunter, so he gave me the power. Yeah. He transferred it to me. How, how, how does it feel to embrace the smork? Uh, it, feel, it feels pretty good. Um, you know, I, Eloise was really advising me before the match. She was like, you know, Hunter can still 3 0 anything, so she's like, you should really open Hunter. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's like probably the best opener that you mm -hmm. have. And then the Hunter versus Freeze Mage game, man. The entire game, I just have yeah. ulcers. Like, I don't know, I don't understand how you guys handle this. Like, let alone playing for like BlizzCon stage and like being there in, the, yeah. in front of like hundreds of thousands of people. Like, I can't even really, I you, can't handle this. You, man. Did, you did really well. The yeah. fact that you kept oh the freezing trap, we're joking. Like, freezing trap is not gonna do anything in the matchup. Yeah. Yeah. And then you actually locked Alex Straza. Yeah. yeah, I think freezing trap is like something that I thought about a lot, and I was like, this is actually really bad against Freeze Mage if I ever play it. And I remember specifically in the previous series against Ignite. Hey, good games, man. Good mm -hmm. games. Um, uh, the fact that I even had like Freezing Trap up made me scared mm -hmm. the entire time. And I just remember thinking in the back of my head, like, if I ever play Freeze Mage again, rest of the tournament, I'm never going to try to play Freezing Trap unless it's Alex Straza and I know uh, Antonis mm -hmm. has been used. So um, that was the only time that I, I kind of felt like had mm -hmm. a hard harder decision. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I just played Hunter, man. <laughs> like, yeah, and, and uh, even I, the thing yeah. of keeping it in hand, like, for Ignite, it was really hard to say what your last card was. Yeah. And if it was a yeah. kill command, he yeah, had to make like really rough turns because think. of it. Like I think I think the whole point is I made made it, I want him to think it was maybe unleash the hounds or something, mm -hmm. so I had like a little bit mm -hmm. of damage and made him really sweat. Uh, and then the freezing trap mm -hmm. keep. I think that was that was pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Other than that, the hunter versus druid was mm -hmm. uh, pretty pretty easy. I think. Yeah, just he had some really also with the warrior. He had some really poor draws where he started with three really expensive minions yeah. in the starting end. But um, yeah, and uh, with the value, and I really also like the high main keep. Uh, like it's such an invaluable card yeah. in the against warrior, and uh, yeah. I'm like, I, I'm like, I can't be warrior in the long run. I need this high main because every mm -hmm. time I ever play against a warrior, I'm like, yeah. where's my high main? Yeah. Uh, so I just think like, yeah, I'll just try keeping it. Mm -hmm. It's probably it was the Doctor Six before Doctor Six became mm -hmm. Doctor Six. How yeah. did it, how did it feel when uh, the, the last moment when you realize you have lethal versus warrior with the hunter? I actually really thought I was one off for a long time. It was <laughs> caster math actually coming into the thing, so I didn't re really react. And I was like, oh crap, actually mm. I do. <laughs> but now you know the feeling that you have to count like three times to I make know, sure that it is really because we sure. always do it. <laughs> like, we're just like, <laughs> yeah. Was your heart oh. racing at like at any point? <laughs> Like, oh, all the time. I actually had to bite my finger to like stay calm because I think uh, my blood just mm. is rushing through my body yeah. the entire time, man. Competing is such a thrill, man. It's, yeah. it's awesome. It's amazing. It's, and it's people so say it's a, it's a card game. Why do yeah. people get excited about card games? I know. It's, it's, I mean, if you guys ever have a chance to compete in Hearthstone tournaments, I highly recommend you guys do because it's, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in the end, you don't have the pressure to like perform mechanically mm -hmm. as much. So you can kind of have time to sit down and go over your thoughts mm -hmm. and just uh, rely on your preparation. So, um, I want to give a big shout out again to Sane, who really helped me this morning, and as well as the rest of my teammates in Gara, Eloise. And also to like all the players who've been really supportive, like Lothar, Nimsh, mm -hmm. even Tyus. I beat Tyus with Paladin, Secret Paladin. <laughs> He's not salty about it at all. He's really happy for me. So yeah, I'm really happy so much, that man. you're also doing well now. And now you have to also... Uh, <laughs> I, I think you can really take it. Uh, you what? played so well here. Oh man, I'm in top eight. Yeah, yeah you're That's in crazy. Congress, man. It's crazy. I'm proud oh, of crazy. you. Does that get paid? Uh, yes, you, you wow, earned the money. I'm, the money. Wow. The money I'm actually a pro Hearthstone player uh, now, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have like yeah. you, you, yeah. you get on a list of the Hearthstone earnings. Like the best horse and earnings this year from them to start. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> snap, man. Yeah. For we have winning tournament. Ninja's making good jokes. This, yeah. this tournament's got it all. Yeah. I have one last question for you. It's a really dumb question that Eloise What's couldn't up? answer. Are you a cat person? Mm -hmm. Am I a what? Are, are you a cat person? Cat? Oh, absolutely, man. I love cats. I love, I love cats so much, but it's actually a big tragedy because I'm allergic to cats. So it's like the biggest irony in the oh. world, you know? Well, the cats carried you. Um, <laughs> kind of. That's mm -hmm. right, man. All the cats. Thank, shout out to the cats. <laughs> All right. So, yep. That's it. We're good. I think uh, we are kind of ready oh. to go to the break. Any last questions, yeah. Froden? No. Uh, just congratulations, Froden. And uh, it's cool to also be on the other side once, where yeah, now right? I can ask the questions and it's analyze great, your game. How do you so. think about carrying Temple Storm? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Did, how did How did Gara do? Well, we don't uh, know. I think oh, don't he, know? he's currently mm -hmm. one one. One one. Oh, he's currently mm -hmm. one one. Okay. So we'll have to go mm -hmm. root for Gara, but. Uh, it, fe it feels pretty good so far. Yeah. I think Rekful also will show some people. I got faith. Rekful, you're going to win? Uh -oh. Yeah, he's going to win. He doesn't. <laughs>
That attitude shows that uh, he's in the right mindset. Yeah. So. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. This is and, really uh, fun. Yeah, we also cheered you for you. Also, Eloise was really supporting you with the Huffers. She really cheered for all your Huffers, so I think yeah. you guys did it together. It was. I, I kind of like warmed up and everything. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no, it's like, this has to be the Huffer you right now. You sound like I'm scamming this tournament. No. <laughs> Scummies. Uh. <laughs> You're teammates. Don't That's right. Mm -hmm. It's rigged. Three times. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, the strategy was pretty good. I liked uh, how you bounce uh, Paladins mm -hmm. and the Warrior. Yeah, yeah I think the big, the big thing about Ignite was I wasn't sure if he was playing patron but uh, I know that Ignite's a fantastic control player so the first series I just took the risk like okay if it's patron warrior I just don't want to lose my first match and then after kind of evaluating and like Eloise was like yeah he banned your druid of all classes so he has to be playing control warrior because he is freeze mage and control warrior that doesn't want to be targeted by it so I said okay so I trusted Eloise on this one and um, and I, I was able to get that. And mm -hmm. even if I lost with Hunter, like I did in 3-0, I still had Paladin and Drew, which I felt really comfortable oh, with. Yeah. And winning the first mm -hmm. two games was just so huge. Yeah. So what do you think about Last Hero Ascending? Well, I mean, people kind of talk about, uh, like, Conquest as being kind of an RNG format where anyone can win. Um, but I can definitely see that Last Hero Standing, there's a lot of preparation. Like, even, even more than I even really thought. Mm -hmm. Like, I've, I've helped Raynad. I've helped back then Tides of Time when he was on it. And, and Gara really helped do Last Hero Standing prep. But... It's so different when you're a player. Like you see a completely different side mm -hmm. of the competitive strategy mm -hmm. of even just adding one band to it. So you know you see games like Dota 2 and, mm -hmm. and League of Legends, like how they have like multiple mm -hmm. bands. Like I, I they just, it just really starts the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. when you're a vi when you're a fan versus when you're competing and you actually see mm -hmm. like what you have to go through and imagine all the scenarios mm -hmm. and lines play out. So um, I have a, I have a deep respect for other Hearthstone players who are really good at last year standing, and a much deeper respect now for all those MOBA players who have to think about like <laughs> specific drafting strategies. Yeah. It's really tough. Mm -hmm. All right, it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to go to the mm -hmm. break. So I don't know yeah, where we're, are we we're going. We're making this interview way too long, man. We're, yeah. We're yeah, absolutely. Stay yeah. tuned. We will so, be back. Yeah, yeah. we'll be back.